So, what is the envelope here? Thanks for acquiring uh, for me to be here. And so anyway am lopia can be defined like the uh, unilateral or the bilateral diminution of the corrected central visual ubiquity without any organic pathology commensurate to this loss and it can be it can be uh, because of the so anyway, uh, this can happen, the ablopia can happen during the critical period or the sensor period, which exactly they start from the three to six months and may extend from the six to 12 years. So remember that this is the period in which ablopia can develop and this is the period in which you can treat the ablopia as well also. The various types of uh, the region, etiological uh, factors are the astrobismic, and isometropic, or the refractive amblyopia, and the deprivation amblyopia. In the refractive amblyopia, this is the type of amblyopia in which you do not require to give the uh, occlusion therapy, but only correct the refractive error, and it will be corrected. Rather, I can say the occlusion is contraindicated in refractive amblyopia. In the rest of the thing, the treatment is uh, ref uh, this thing. Occlusion therapy is the mainstay. You can see the unilateral cataract, there is a dunset diplopia because the, all the three amylogenic factors, light deprivation, form deprivation, and the amnoblin interaction will be there. So it is uh, difficult to treat. Now, uh, the treatment modalities are, the, I am uh, leaving some part of the, uh, some slides because the time is less. It can be, occlusion can be the total or the partial. Optical penalization is another way to manage the amylopia. So now we have also used the drugs which are a little bit health as an adjuvant, not a complete treatment. Remember that constant occlusion of the sound eye is, can force the patient to use the amblyopic eye, also removes the inventory impulses arising from the uh, fixated of the sound eye. This is the way, how can you? Mm -hmm. The general rule of the occlusion, how can you give the occlusion solution? The occlusion solution is given as general rule of thumb that means according to the age, one, 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 year, uh, one, month, one year of age uh, is the period, th uh, that means you have to uh, initially one week for each year of age. If there is a no improvement, you can double this period and still there is a no improvement, then you can think of um, stopping the treatment. And if there is no improvement, continue this treatment up to the uh, play to, uh, I mean, one to one vision is uh, uh, um, received, or, and then maintenance for three to six months. This is the, this is the uh, way I am following this uh, occlusion therapy at my center, the Guru Nanak Eye Center. This is uh, in children. And uh, not choosing the occluder is very important. As you know that uh, a lot of uh, percent, like here, you can see in the top right figure, the child picks up from the sound eye. So that should not be there. So we, we advise to give the complete patching like this way. One is commercially available, the bottom one, and one can be homemade. So uh, occlusion, by the way, if the occlusion amblyopia can develop, uh, can develop, there is no, uh, should, that means that I has a very, uh, the still the potency to, uh, for the improvement. And the treatment is just reverse to occlude the other eye. Follow pseudoly is again according to the age. Uh, you have to follow the one year child of the one age, two after two years, like that, two, two weeks. And the end point of the therapy is the free alteration, equalization of the vision. And when you see, or otherwise, there is no improvement in the vision after two, three to six months of the proper occlusion. Follow up again, I must say, when you uh, got the uh, one to one vision, then you have to follow all these patients up to the eight to nine years. And for the maintenance, adopt uh, any one of the methods or the part-time occlusion of the normal eye, reduce the visual equity of the sound eye slightly lesser than the uh, sound eye, um, than the amblyopic eye. And if the surgery is needed, that must be done within the six months 
of the amblyopia treatment. Penalization is another uh, method to uh, treat the amblyopia, but that is reserved for the moderate amblyopia. Now, CAM stimulators is outdated, rather relegated from the pages of history. The levodopa and the cetylcholine is another drug which can stimulate the process of the recovery of the visual equity. In amblyopia, if the eccentric fixation is another the drug of uh, the treatment of choice is the full occlusion, and uh, as well as nystagmus also, still we prefer the complete occlusion. This is the uh, concept of the cure. What is the concept of the core? You have to have to attain the ISO equity, one to one, speed of reading, free alteration of the fixation, and the ISO accommodation. If any one of it is not, uh, not uh, acquired, then uh, relapse ca is very, very common and can occur at any time. With the, now the amblyopia should be treated prior to surgical correction or the after. Remember, it should be done prior because there is a high grade of uh, parental motivation and availability of the frequency of the deviation and ability of the hold of fixation will be there, aiding pre-operative sensory optimization and the surgical goal of the good and stable ocular alignment will be there. And if you say after surgery, patient may refuse the, uh, may refuse the amblyopia therapy and he, he will, uh, I mean, run away from your side. And the subsequent occlusion may result in the recurrent of the squint. So we can conclude that the conventional occlusion is the treatment of choice. Penalization is the useful additional therapy. Play optics and the inverse prisms are the reversed for the special cases. CAM stimulator is outdated. Levodopa, carpidopa, and cetylcholine have the primary results, but used as a adjunct effect. The one thing I would like to tell you that uh, our society, the SPOSI, the establishment and the pediatric ophthalmology are trying hard to make the uh, vision certificate uh, mandatory for the KJ school children, like the uh, this thing, vaccination certificate. So if, if that will be there, we can detect the, early detect the amblyopia factors and treat accordingly right at that spot so that the, all the children will be cured from the amblyopia. Thank you very much.